How's it going guys? Dre here and today we're gonna be checking out the upcoming Shopkeep 2. Boy is it good to be back, we're playing all the old games that we used to play uh, because they're all finally being updated. So yes, Shopkeep 2 is coming out on April 26th. Uh, I got a little bit of a preview copy here and we're gonna be checking it out today. We get one hour to check it out, that's it, and uh, yeah, it should be fun. So yes, this is an early access version of Shopkeep 2. Remembering the fun bug fest that was Shopkeep in its early access stages? Yes, yes I do. What is going on here? What are you guys doing? Stop it! Treat this one as what it is. Early bug-ridden glitchy mess, which will have you entertained for hours. Well, an hour because that's all we get. Uh, but yes, if we go to the main menu here, you can see, uh, well, first of all, there's my character. You can build characters now in the game. It's pretty damn impressive. But we have a 60-minute limitation on the world before the game is released. So basically, it's giving you kind of like a demo of the game. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, we're going to play single player. Multiplayer is coming, ladies and gentlemen, which is really, really cool. Actually, before we get into it, let me show you the character builder because it's actually pretty damn impressive. You can customize, I mean, you can see all these tattoos I put on this guy, but you can customize everything from the stomach ribs uh, to anything you want. You know what? Let's change that to a heart. We got some stuff on the back. Uh, you can, of course, customize your face as well. As you can see, I have a third eye. I mean, it, it, it's, it's majestic. So I just wanted to show you guys that because it was pretty complex. I was really impressed by that. And uh, going into single player, we have to make our first business. If you remember in the original game, we had like a paint thing to make our logo, if I remember correctly. Now you actually have to make like a coat of arms. So yeah, it's pretty damn cool. Uh, let's do, you know, typical red and white. That seems pretty royal. I don't know what this is. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this if I can. And I think you can here. There's a lot of different things on this. Yes, but there we go. We can customize this a little bit. Um, you know what? I kind of like the yellow circles for some reason. And down here, yes, we can have... Well, we're a store, so I'm thinking this will be good, the staffs. And we're gonna call this one Ye Old Shop because I can't think of anything. And you know what? I would trust a business called Ye Old Shop. So let's create the business and get out there. If you notice, there's three slots though, so I don't know if you can have three businesses going at once. Uh, I really don't know. All right, but here we are in Shopkeep, ladies and gentlemen. And oddly enough, I'm in the place that I ended off before. And oh god, we're already in a bug. How am I gonna deal with this? Uh, so long story short, I played the game a little bit just to learn how to play it, and I unlocked the sh the the cooking station, which is this place. And yeah, I I'm I'm locked inside now. What? Come on! Can I not play this now? I am seriously locked inside because this is not unlocked yet. All right, and making a new character fixed my issue here. So, uh, yeah, we get Steam Library contains a Shopkeep 2 character creator preview. Uh, so, yeah, that's a different game that we can play, but we already have the character creator in this game, so why would we do that? And this is your first visit to the world with this character. As a reward, we'd like to offer you to exchange your default start suit for a golden one, and of course we're gonna do that. So now, this is where we're supposed to start. Uh, that was really, really weird, but yes, here is, well, this isn't our shop, this is our delivery station slash taxes and everything. Now, I have to kind of rush, you gotta remember, I only have an hour, so we're gonna try and do as much as we can in that hour. Up here is our shop, though. Uh, spring skill, we need to unlock that, so let's unlock that right now for zero points. There we go, now we can actually sprint. Now, I keep forgetting some of you guys might not know what this game is. This is a store simulator, basically. You run a store, and then the adventurers that you normally play come and buy weapons and whatnot from you. So we have to purchase a pedestal from the furniture vendor in town. Let's go do that real quick. We now have a town, guys. It's not just a random store in the middle of a forest. We actually have things we gotta do. So it looks like this guy is up there. So we'll take a little wander down and go get some pedestals, because we need a storage space to sell our things. All right, so we got 150 monies right now. Uh, let's go see how much these things are. This is the vendor furniture store. It seems like he's starting out as well. Whoa, a little bit of lag there. Uh, yeah, buy pedestal. So how many do I need to buy? Let's just place displays and shop four. Okay, so it wants me to buy four, so we'll do that. There we go, thank you, good sir. Oh, it looks like he has a quest for me as well. You know what, let's pick up that quest. My stock may seem limited, but remember, as the town is upgraded, I will have more stuff to sell. Come back. So yes, now you upgrade the town as well. I don't know much about that. I was hoping to do the quest here, though. Ah, uh, yes, pedestal order. Buy more pedestals for me, and I'll let you order them on your own. Oh, well, I probably should have did that before I bought all the pedestals that I needed. You know what? I guess we'll go broke, and we'll buy another one, and we should now, if we go to our creation list, which is this button, Yes, we can buy the pedestal from the store now and not have to come all the way over to him. So that's pretty cool. 
Looks like you just gotta go to that guy once. Once you buy from him, you can unlock the uh, thing to make your own. Now, I did spend a lot of my money there, so we're not gonna have too much money for stock. But hey, you gotta start out somewhere, and here is our actual store. Currently, it's closed. We have to put down our pedestals here. Uh, so yes, rotate. Looks like there's eight points of rotation as well now instead of just the, you know, the four that, is, that it usually is. So you can customize your store a little bit more, and these are gonna be our first uh, holders for our items. So now what do we want us to do? Order some items from your order scroll. Okay, so we have wooden shoes to buy right now and water bottles. I'm assuming as we level up, we'll get more things to buy. How much money do I got? I only got 50 bucks right now, guys. So I literally can only buy one wooden shoe, and we're just gonna have to order some water. That's pretty embarrassing. So hopefully we can make some quick sales because that pedestal really pulled me back a little bit. Order has arrived. You pick up your orders in here. So let's go pick up that. There we go. We got our boots. And we're going to go sell these boots. So in our left hand is like our pricing machine, basically. We basically scroll with the scroll wheel and say how much we want to sell this for. The price or the worth is at the bottom. I generally sell for 120 to 130%, so a 30% upcharge for profits. Let's do 124 since we need some money right now. And we're going to put those on there. Water bottles, they're dirt cheap. So how much are they? 3M, so we'll just sell them for 4M and uh, gain 1M if we're lucky enough. So that's good. We're ready to go. Let's open up the store and hopefully we get a customer really, really quickly because I'm all about earning as much money as possible. Now while we're waiting, it looks like it's nighttime so everybody's going to be inside anyways. Let's go over to the shop because I believe... I thought this guy gave me a quest. At least when I was playing the game earlier, he gave me a quest. He might give me them later on. Yeah, it looks like he doesn't have anything right now. All right, it is now daytime. What is this? It is actually all fine. Uh, event information. So I'm assuming this is like a poster board that they're going to have events on later on. We have our tax information and our world economy there. In here, this is our tax guy, by the way. Uh, we have the vault. Basically, he's our banker and our tax control. If you remember in the original game, taxes were a big thing. If you didn't pay them, people came and literally attacked your store. I don't know if that's still the same way, but uh, yeah, that's how it used to be. So it looks like it's rather slow today. Hopefully, do we have anybody coming? Green lady, come on over. All right, let's uh, sweep this up a little bit. We got our first customer. Let's act professional, guys. And uh, I'm praying she buys the boots, because if she buys a water bottle, I'm going to be so mad. Or, or, or walks out of the store. But yes, here she is. Who's our first customer? Dan Dan Danielita Nada. Wow, that's a hard name to say. Oh, you're going for the damn water? All right, well, we got some money. When selling items, all the funds go to the accountant in the vault at the management house. Go over there to withdraw them and handle your taxes as well. Well, I'm not going to go over there just yet, but this lady... Oh, yeah, she's... What? Where did she go? She was going to buy the freaking boots! What? What is going on? I need... I need customers, game. Why, why are you doing this to me? Please don't... What? I just lost three sales, and I don't know why. Do, do, do I have to move these? I'm, I'm very worried now. Did they not like the prices? Was that a glitch? I mean, there's lots of glitches in Shopkeep. That's kind of what this game's all about at this point. But I only got an hour, damn it. I need some money. We're already nine minutes into this thing, and uh, I haven't even sold anything. Please, I swear to God, if you vanish. Okay, come on, guys. Just yes. Yes. Why are you buying water? Okay, yes, I know. When we, when we sell things, we get the money. Good stuff. I need to sell these boots, though. Yes. Please don't vanish. Please don't vanish. Please don't vanish. Oh, yeah. Andrea. Andrea wants them. Thank you so much. What the hell? Which one of you jerks made this mess here? So there we go. We got a business increase for cleaning up that mess. All right. Let's go over to the accountant. Obviously, we sold all our stock, so we need to go get some more. Uh, we're going to go to my vault and withdraw all my money. I'm not going to pay my taxes right now because, well... I don't got enough money, so uh, too bad for them. We'll risk it, and let's buy some more wooden boots now. It looks like we can buy four, and we're definitely going to go do that. All right, so price them all at 121%. That should be perfect. Now we got lots more boots, and hopefully people need wooden boots. They're, they're wooden, by the way, so they're probably not very comfortable, but hey, you got to start somewhere. Oh, look, they're already damaged a little bit. Let's repair those. So yes, if you're, for, if you're new to Shopkeep, it's all about managing your store. You have to keep it clean. You have to upgrade your uh, storage units. You obviously have to buy your stock, and you have to make sure nobody steals your stuff. That's one of the hardest parts is the damn thieves that come in. Uh, like this lady here, you know she's a thief. Ellie, no, please, please don't be a thief. I, I'm, I actually need the money. And yes, great purchase. Thank you, lady. Enjoy your wooden... You bastard! 
All right, so we should actually have enough to pay our taxes now. Maybe we can grab another quest. Shop's open anyways. We only risk losing some items if they're stolen, but hey, I can't be e everywhere. You got my money just hanging on the ground over here, Gil. Come on, Gil, pull it together, buddy. All right, let's do some tax control, though. We need to pay the taxes for our consumables, and we need to pay the taxes for our apparel? You mean the golden suit that I got for free? Whatever, I guess we still gotta pay taxes for it. All right, now Sir Poshington over here, who looks very similar to me, which is weird, has some quests for us. This is what I thought we would be doing. All right, so quests. Uh, we need to cook something. Uh, this is where it gets interesting, and we also need to do a water delivery. So it looks like you can sell door to door, which is really, really cool. So we're gonna go pick up some water. I think I needed, yeah, we needed five water for this quest. Water's dirt cheap. We should have enough money for that, so we'll buy those for right now. Remove one of those. Order, 15 monies for that. Let's go really quickly check my store, make sure everything's okay. Well, I hope I sold those and they weren't stolen. We just sold three boots, I guess, while we were over here. I hope we did anyways, because if I lost my money, we're gonna have a hard time here, man. All right, Gil, let me see the damn money. Uh, withdraw, yes, look at that, 135 buckaronis right there. We got enough, 148. So let's go deliver this water now. So it wants us to deliver water around town. I think you just go, wrong item selected. Uh, oh, where's my water? Is it still on the ground? Did I forget to pick it up? Yes, I did. All right, so we got some delicious water here now. Can I actually tell them how much it's worth? Can I sell it? To these guys let's find out we're 3m why am i getting a profit of 200 i'm very confused you know what let's just try it here and see sell water to sell hold S -s household wow i can't talk was recently used okay so yeah we did sell one so i guess we just gotta go door to door here selling water here you go you get some water you get some water everybody gets water isn't it fun there you go you as well so from what I understand in this game, you can actually play it with multiple people now, or at least when it's released, that's the plan. And I think that's where this game's gonna shine, because there's a lot of moving around now. I have to go all around the town. We actually manage this town as well, I don't know too much about that. But there's a lot more depth, obviously, to this game. Shopkeep was a very basic game. Now there's just so much to this that it, it, it's actually overwhelming. So let's actually buy five more wooden shoes so we can sell while we're doing stuff. Uh, I actually need some, oh, maybe I should have bought the cookhouse first. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll have to sell a few bo uh, boots here. And I don't have any money in my vault, that's right, because I grabbed it. So let's go get these boots. We'll quickly put these things on sale and, uh, yeah, make some extra money. Let's go over and check out the, uh, town management, though. This is town management here. So, from what I understand, now not everything is under one roof. You have to actually buy the blacksmith, buy the cookery, and the alchemist. And it looks like, uh, oh, there's also a house. Increase your town's level. Um, oh, this is the, ad oh, sorry, this is the management house that we're, we actually are in right now. And then this is obviously our shop. So, we got a nice little town here. Uh, I don't know how to upgrade the town, so hopefully we can figure that out by the end of this, but there's some sort of upgrading of towns needed now. Oh, you little jerk! I know you stole it because you're freaking running. Get over here. I, I, don't, I don't even have a weapon yet to beat you up, but generally if they're running, they stole something, so I don't even know how I'm going to deal. Wait. Oh yeah, there is one gone, and I'm assuming I didn't get a sale for that. We should have enough money now to buy the cookery and move on to doing some cooking as well, so... Let's go to my uh, gill buddy here and withdraw 70. That should be just enough. I am actually going to need more money because I think I need to buy the resources for cooking. But the cook, oh man, 175. We're going to have no money left. So we do legit have to sell those boots before we move on. But now we own the cookery so we can make some uh, food. Looks like one of my boots was bought, so that's good. Let's clean up that. And do we have, yes, there's another guy coming here. So hopefully we can sell this one real quick. Hello, good sir. Can I interest you in the final pair of these legendary wooden boots? It looks like you're interested. Please don't steal them. Great purchase. All right. So I guess, you know what? We may as well just close up store in case anybody goes inside. I don't want to clean up messes if I don't need to. And go back over to the shop here. Let's go. Actually, we already own it, so I guess we can just walk over. Is there anything else here I can take? Ooh, the bucket. Did I buy that? I hope I didn't buy that. I can just receive buckets. I don't know what the bucket's for, but hey, if it's free... I'm gonna take it. All right, so we opened up our map, and the cook looks to be just down the road a little bit, so somewhere... Actually, is this it right here? Uh, no, that doesn't... No, actually, it has a spoon on it, so that's probably it. Yes, Morgan Belland Bolton. Yes, her name's Belland, guys. Whoa! I don't know if I trust buying food from here, but hey. I don't think we really have a choice, Morgan, you Belen. Get the frig out of my... What? This is mine now! I bought it, bitch! 
All right, so it looks like we got a quest here, though. Do we have a quest here? I, I, okay. We're, we're already hitting glitches, guys. This is just part of the shopkeep experience. Let's make some food. Okay, so I think it, oh, actually, we're already on a quest. Unlock, cook, and make some food. So I guess we'll just do that. All right, so common bread requires one whatever this is and two wheat. So we'll go over this thing. There, I don't have enough. Oh, crap, I forgot to grab my money. All right, I'm not used to having a banker in a game like this. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's weird going over to grab it. You can't grind this item, so can we... Oh, hold on, I wanna... There we go. Oh, I can actually earn money off of that? Hold on, did I find a glitch? If I can keep grabbing these buckets... Oh, uh, I can only have two at a time, but if I need some extra money, uh, grind for 25% of its worth. So, yeah. There we go. Free money. Look at that. that. That's one way to get it. But let's go to my guy and do it the legit way, and we're going to withdraw our 70 buckaronis. All right, so now that we got a little bit of money, we should be able to make our bread. So, if I remember correctly, it was two of these and one of these. And here you go, good sir. Let's get cooking that thing. We need the bread. I'm going to do one of those for right now. And we're making it, guys. So obviously cooking's, I believe cooking's new in Shopkeep. The blacksmith was obviously a lot more complex than this, so I'm excited to get to the blacksmith. Uh, but yeah, it's cool to see that there's other ways to earn some money now. Uh, let's do this quest, make some more bread. Okay, come cook some more bread and I'll let you see more recipes as well as allowing you to order bread requirements. I don't know what a bread requirement is, but hey, thanks, Bell End. All right, so he wants me to cook more bread. Oh, 10 of them? Oh my god, I don't even know if I have enough money for that, but how much does this cost? Um, yeah, this is nine? I have to earn some more money before we do this, but I guess I can sell my bread, so let's do as much bread as we can. And it's looking like we're gonna run out really, really soon here. It looks like maybe three is our limit. Yeah, let's just do three for right now. All right, but now we got some stuff to sell, so I am legit out of money. I have zero money right now. We're gonna open up shop and throw some bread on. So this is worth 49. Not bad, not bad. We're going to upcharge that though, of course, because we need more money than that. How much were the wooden boots worth? I don't think they were worth this much, so we'll do 127, because everybody loves some delicious bread. Mohawk ladies, look at that, you guys are like twins. Great purchase, okay, so they're happy with the price, that's good. Ruta, what do you think? Great purchase as well, okay, so this is good. Looks like my final bread is going as well, so maybe I should have bought a few more wooden shoes. Yeah, the bread's actually worth more than the shoes, so... Uh, it's easier to make the shoes, that's for sure, but uh, the bread is probably gonna be more profitable over time. All right, let's finish this up, Belen. So we need six of these and 12 of the other things. So this should be, I should hopefully have enough money anyways. Ah, oh, damn it. It's not cheap making bread, man. So I'm just gonna make, uh, I think I can make five of these right now. Oh, no, maybe four. Let's, let's, let's try four. I don't have enough. What, three? Okay, I'm gonna make one bread. It looks like I can make one for some reason. Very confused right now. Like extremely confused because I definitely have enough. Can I, can I make another one now? No, because it doesn't want me to, can I, can I do it? Maybe he doesn't have enough bread, but I'm giving him the ingredients. Do I have to make my own here? Are, are, you, are you just a crappy cook or what? So I'm wondering if like the water quest, if there's a limitation on how many I can make, because technically I made five of these as well. Let's try again here and see if we can at least make one. Yeah, I don't have enough. I do have enough, damn it. Am I, am I, am I just losing my mind or something? Uh, let's see here. Okay, I can't buy anything else. Can I upgrade my stuff? Oh, bigger lungs? Yes, please. That would be great. So, yeah, we can upgrade our character as well. I guess we're just gonna have to wait to make more bread. That's really weird to me that you have to buy the ingredients, but, uh, you still can't make the bread right away. What is up here? I I'm just kind of exploring at this point now because this is a really cool world. Looks like there's not much up here. I was hoping to find, like, a little secret or something. Oh, I'm digging through trash? Okay, well, we gotta start somewhere, guys. Damn it! Did, did I miss it? Ah! Okay, that's really cool, though. I, I just clicked on the trash, and I guess I can dig through it and maybe find something if I'm lucky. Ah, oh, we can sell our water, though, and we get our much-needed quest reward. Oh, maybe, maybe not. I think I did that one, actually, recently, so... Let me see. Sell... Ah! I could sell it to one of them, so I guess we're still waiting on these guys here. Which is a little unfortunate. This one doesn't even want to buy water, like a little jerk. Well, back to the wooden boot game, since we don't have too much else to make right now. Uh, I at least have a little bit of money, and the wooden boots seem to sell pretty quickly. So we got that going for us, at least. And I guess we just gotta wait for the bread. So this is a little unfortunate, but hey. Usually the starting of shopkeep is very, very slow, similar to this. And then it gets freaking crazy to the point where you can't even deal with it. Uh, but yeah, at least we're selling stuff.
Looks like we can craft more bread. Oh, yes! There we go! I'm missing items. So, yes. There was a time-based system with that, I guess. That's really weird to me. Uh, how many do I need to make? Cook bread. Six, seven, eight. So, we need two more. I have no money right now, but it's. I think we should be able to finish this really, really quickly. Benefit being, we now actually have something we can sell that's worth a decent amount, too. And sell we will! We actually have the perfect amount of slots now, so we have our store fully stocked! Isn't that great? Five items fully stocked. Pretty embarrassing here. We're gonna sell for 131 this time. I'm getting a little aggressive here, because I need money, damn it. So there we go. Bread and boots! What a weird combination, but hey. Seems like they like it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, assuming bell end over here isn't a bell end, we should be able to finish up this too, so we need to buy four of these. Actually, no we don't. We only need to buy two, well, three of those. Uh, we got some more wheat, though, so let's make some food and make that bread, man. Make that bread. Nope! God damn it. I think I need to wait for one. Yes, I am missing required items. Better not be, damn it. Oh, I was making two bread. Okay, so I thought I only made one bread at a time. But there we go. We got our two bread, and that quest is officially done. Looks like we can get another one now. So please go hunting. That's what I'm talking about. You have to wander from the safety of this town to hunt one day. Go get a bow. This is so cool. This is something I didn't expect. Receive bow from the blacksmith. So do we have to unlock the blacksmith, or do I just gotta go talk to the guy? Uh, let's go put this bread for sale, and then we'll go meet the blacksmith. Okay, so... I'm at the blacksmith shop, obviously, and, uh... Looks like he's not here, so I think I gotta buy this. I'm curious to see how much it is, because I thought it was worth a lot of money. I'm a little worried. We might not get that far in this episode. Okay, so blacksmith, blacksmith. Uh, that's the cook. There's the blacksmith. Oh, it's only 600? All right, if we do a little bit of grinding, we might actually have time. I have lots of money now. That's the benefit, so we should be able to sell lots of wooden boots and uh, hopefully make some more bread in uh, the time being as well. Ah, I found some secret households. Look at this. There's one up top there. Uh, we got this guy over here is at the end of the uh, place, but obviously if I can do this quest, uh, that would be great as well. Water delivered. Looks like this is the final one. There we go. We got an extra 100 M's for just doing that. Oh, is this more trash? Oh, come on. We got to do this right. I am so bad at these guys, so I'm so sorry in advance, but here we go. That was so close. Did I get it? I clearly didn't get it. Damn it. Oh, I just realized that we can actually make some crazier stuff now so we can make meat soup. I'm thinking this is where we're going to get some serious amounts of money here. So I want something that has the most resources because that's probably going to be one of the most expensive. So I'm thinking this thing, the Kepelat, uh, something Italian probably, this is it. So potatoes and beef. That's what I'm talking about. Got these. One, two... Uh, how much is this stuff? Oh, yeah, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna make two of these, I think. Hopefully this guy will let me. I, I, I probably should have figured that out first because I'm gonna have a lot of items not selling if that's the case. But here we go. We got this thing, and yeah! We can craft it. Oh, it's, it is making the two. Perfect. Okay, so we got that done. What if we do some meat soup as well? That's probably worth a lot. So let's go grab... Looks like this is the soup over here, maybe? Wait, am I supposed to make soup first? Let's go see. So I think I have to make a vegan soup with the flowers and the potatoes, and then I can make a meat soup by adding meat to that. That's pretty cool. So we'll do the flowers and the potatoes first. Uh, there we go. Two of those, one of those, and then we need the meat as well to finish that one up. So that that's kind of cool. You got to combine recipes together to make it. So we'll do the vegan. We can craft... Uh, no, I just want to do one. I don't have enough. Okay, so this guy is overworked right now, so we should at least be able to sell these for a lot. And then we'll come back here and finish up that uh, meat soup. Alright, and as you can see, this is worth 84 M, so much better than my wooden boots, that's for sure. We're gonna have to uh, up this by quite a bit here. Now I'm thinking we should be able to get... Yeah, we should be able to get over 100 for these guys, so we'll do 105. And, I mean, who can not love a delicious dish like that? So yeah, I definitely somehow lost some money. I got 10 money to my name, and this is all the stock I have, guys. So, uh, yeah, I really gotta watch for thieves, clearly. There we go. That's a big sale that I definitely needed. That feels really good. Do we have any upgrades that we can do? Uh, doesn't look like we can upgrade these yet, but let's see. Carry weight. So it seems like most has to do with movement, obviously. Uh, that's all the skills for right now at least now we have we can equip ourselves and obviously it's sounding like now We can actually go out and slay beast. It's not just playing shopkeep I really hope we make it to make this bow, but I don't know. I, it's gonna be close 
All right, let's get this soup done because we need the money. I'm making the vegan soup. I have to wait for that, and then I can make the steak soup or meat soup rather. And I'm hoping this is worth a lot of money. I mean, I gotta assume it's it's a two process item, so we'll see. Uh, this is gonna take a while, so let's go back. I don't trust people at my store now when it's open and I'm not there. Clearly, you should probably close it down. I think I just heard a change uh, noise, so that means I made a sale. Is he wearing boots? Yes, he is, so we did sell that. We still got three boots over here. Let's go to the vault, see how much money we got. Probably not too much, but hey, we're making our way up. This guy's got another water quest, but we still can't do that just yet, so I'm not gonna grab that unless I can. There we go. We can withdraw that 130, though. Go back to the cook. Ah, oh, we made another sale. I'll keep hearing those chingalings, so that's good. Let's make some food, and let's take my meat soup. Uh, I guess, should I queue up something else? You know what? Let's get him to make some more bread. Bread was simple, but it was decent as well. So we'll do three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and then we can queue those up, hopefully. Another sale done? That's good. How much is this thing worth? Let's find out. Uh, so the meat soup, wow, worth 233. That's where the money is, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm definitely gonna watch this one. We only need to sell like three of these to have enough money. I mean, I mean two would be close even. Uh, oh my god, it's actually taking me a while to go up to what the price I need. Okay, so this is the big one though. Do we wanna try and sell for 300? I think we should, because that's only smart. So there we go. All my things have sold. Do I wanna, is anybody coming? All right, no, no, nobody's coming, so I'm gonna run over here real quick. Grab some money, and hopefully this guy wants to buy a very expensive sh soup. All right, 108, not bad, not bad. We'll withdraw that. We're at 151 now. We got some bread being made. Do I have time to go over and get that bread? I don't think I should. Just to be safe, last thing I want stolen is this. All right, you know what? Actually, nobody is down the road right now, so I'm going to take a risk. Hey, he's waving to that father guy who's really weird, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to run over to get some bread, and I'm praying that I don't regret this. I just want to get more things up for sale so we get more customers. All right, so you got my stuff. You got the stuff, man. All right, and thank God my thing is still here, so this is good. We got we, we, we are turning into a cooking store, guys. Uh, let's actually, how much money do I got? 151. I'm going to go buy some wooden boots as well. We'll buy four of those, and wait for it. Yes, this lady, this lady looks like she wants a very expensive soup. All right, and here we go. What are you gonna buy? Please tell me you go for the expensive soup. Yes! Yes, you buy that damn thing. Yes! Okay, there we go. That's the money that I needed. Oh, multiple customers? Look at this. Please, please don't... Damn it! And here's the good stuff. 233. So we sold for 300 last time. I'm kind of in a rush, though. So, well, actually, we're still gonna need lots of money anyways. So let's make sure we do this right here. And I'm gonna think at least like 280. What's that at? 121. That sounds good. That sounds like a fair price. Hopefully that means they'll come in faster and buy these things. So do we got anybody? It's nighttime, so it's gonna be slow. Oh my god, can you walk any slower? I'm, I'm on a time constraint here. Thank you. I actually walked faster there. There we go. He's going for the damn boots. Come on. Don't you want a delicious overpriced meat soup? I hope the rest of you do because, uh, yeah, I desperately need it. All right, come on, money bags. Let's uh, let's let's see this thing sell. Thank God, we just need to sell one more, and we should be good. So hopefully, this guy really wants a delicious soup. In retrospect, I probably should have put these things really close to the door because their travel times are not the quickest. Come on, there we go. Okay, and actually, we may as well wait just in case this guy tries to steal it and get the final one. Of course, this guy did this again. There we go. Okay, so that is a lot of money right there. At least hopefully, and we can go get our bow. All right, Vault Boy, let, let's get this done real quick. 942, that's what I'm talking about. Cooking is where the money's at. Oh crap, I forgot I gotta buy it. Oh no, I'm just wasting so much time right now. I thought I had, I, I, I'm just so excited to go over to the blacksmith. I just ran over there, but yes, we have to buy it first. So let's do that, go to the blacksmith, and yes, town blacksmith has been upgraded. So we can actually use that thing. Maybe we'll even have time to make a weapon. Because, you know, that's really where this game shines is in the weapon making. So, oh, that guy just vanished as well. These guys really like to vanish. Where, where am I going? Am I, am I lost already? Yes, I am. It's this way. So is there a blacksmith over here now? Yes, there indeed is. And he's going to give me or allow me to make a bow. Dirty Slim. Good old Dirty Slim. All right, I want to craft some stuff. Oh, my God. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. But you're supposed to have a quest for me. Let's do the quest. Uh, spider hunt, iron ingots. Uh, I'm assuming the spider hunt is the one I want. Spiders are infesting the hill. Please get rid of at least some of them. Help me with this. Can I... 
I need a bow! Wait. Oh. That makes sense. Okay, there we go! So now if we go to our inventory, which we haven't even seen this damn screen yet, I think I can just... Oh, it's open there. There we go. I can equip it, and I can shoot people now, guys. That's fun. All right, so let's go outside and see what we can find out here. We haven't explored out of our little kingdom yet. I need to uh, kill wolf... Or I need to kill wolves and spiders. Man, I thought these things would be right outside. I can't find anything out here. There is a... Uh... A lot of land to explore. Actually, there's something down there. I see something white. What is it? It's hard to see. Oh! Oh, crap! It's the spiders. Okay, here we go. Oh, my God! I'm actually killing things in this game. So we can loot it? Or not, maybe? Do I have to loot this, maybe? Okay, so this is obviously a spider's nest. Uh, oh, my God! Okay, another one just popped out. There we go. How, how do I loot the spiders, though? I have no idea. Oh, oh, we got something. Web bundle. Okay, so they actually do drop something. I just didn't notice. So this is kind of cool. They're actually, yeah, they're everywhere. Another web bundle. I don't know what these things are for. Ah, there's the spider legs. So yeah, I didn't even notice the loot before. It's so small. I did not expect something like this in Shopkeep, though. This is actually really cool because it's, it's a little bit of an exploration game now, too. Because you got to find the things that you need. And uh, I have no idea where the wolves are, but we're... We, we, we need to get spider legs right now. Now, obviously, this makes sense to make good armor for yourself as well. Not just sell armor. You're, you're going to want to soup yourself up because, as you can see in the top left, I've already taken a little bit of damage from these little guys. It's pretty easy. We only got to deal with one thing here. But I'm assuming in certain areas of the map, it could be a lot more dangerous. There's more spider spots all over the place, as you can see. Aha! And the final one, I should have Hunt Spider's Quest complete. So, yes, do I get any money for that? I guess not. I just get spider legs. Yay! Spider legs. So I'm actually curious, though. Furniture vendor... Oh, no. Okay, so that's that over here. I want to go to this village, baby, just to see what's in there, because there's another village on this map. Oh, no! Sadly, the press timer for 60 minutes has ran out before we got to see the other village, guys. I knew it was coming soon. I'm just happy we got to see the, the bow play, because that's something totally new in Shopkeep where you actually go out exploring and getting loot yourself. So yeah, that was the first 60 minutes of Shopkeep, guys. We didn't even get into the big part of Shopkeep, which is blacksmithing. If you guys are curious how that kind of works, feel free to watch my original Shopkeep playthrough, uh, and you can kind of see where this game's gonna go. But I gotta say, really impressed with it, really excited to see it, and I'm really excited to see how multiplayer works in this game. So once again, this comes out on the 26th of April. If you guys do want to see any more, let me know in the comments below. We'll probably have a series on this going on, at least checking out a little bit of it, because uh, it was one of my favorite games back in the day. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.